Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great. So the other day I posted a story on my Instagram asking you guys what kind of videos you want to see and you said sustainable gift ideas for Christmas this year. And I know how stressful Christmas can be. I get always so overwhelmed at that time of the year. There's always end of the year projects and then getting gifts for everybody and getting all the Christmas holidays ready. Christmas is so centered around presents and gifts and this is a time of the year where a lot of overconsumption happens and this has a huge environmental impact. So hopefully this is going to make it a little bit easier for you guys this year. My first Christmas present idea is to offer someone a plant. I think it's great if you've had the opportunity to go to your friends or whoever you're gifting this to, if you've had the opportunity to go to their home before gifting the plant so you can have an idea of where they could put the plant, what size of plant they'd be interested in, what type of plant they like. I think that's such a cool gift for both men or women and it's also a very long lasting gift. Never too many plants in the home. Next gift idea, if you don't want to gift someone a plant because let's say they are moving out soon or they might not be interested in having more plants because they already have a lot in their home or maybe they just don't want to take, have to take care of plants, you can offer someone a tree. And for that, there's an awesome company called Treedom, which plants trees across the world and works with small agroforestry, which means they'll only work with small farmers. When you become a tree owner on Treedom, you get like regular updates about how the tree is going and all that stuff. So it's really awesome. They're really transparent. Every tree is geolocated and photographed. So you're able to see where your tree or a couple trees are across the world. There are different species of trees you can choose from, like banana tree, coffee, baobab, cacao, avocado. And through that, you are supporting small farmers, offering food security and income support because they will be able to eat or sell the fruit that is growing on the tree that you planted. And finally, your trees will absorb carbon emissions. So um, Treedom will tell you how many kilos of carbon emission one tree will uh, absorb per year over a 10 year period of time. Obviously after 10 years, the tree will continue to absorb more um, CO2, but this is just an approximate number. So you have an idea. By planting a tree, you also protect biodiversity, combat soil erosion, and also contribute to reforestation. So I have a whole forest of trees. I've got 25 trees in my forest on Treedom that I want to give to you guys and I will be doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there and stay tuned for that. You will be part of this amazing community and we will all be able to create this beautiful forest uh, planting trees together and making this world a better place. Check it out down below. I am so stoked to have you on board with it and I think this is an amazing gift idea also to someone you love for Christmas um, and someone who doesn't want to receive more material goods. Next thing that you can offer someone which is also not material related and which I personally love is time. Time together with someone. So whether you want to take out someone to dinner or to the movies, I think this is such a great gift because it really is quality time together and this is something that we in our world don't have enough of. We're all busy with our own jobs. It's something I've gifted to my mom for her birthday with my brother. Uh, we invited her for a really nice lunch together and um, I think this made her so happy because she was able to have a lunch with both of us at the same time, which is not so often now that I no longer live at home. The next thing I think is such a beautiful gift to give at Christmas is jewelry. I am not a fan of gifting uh, clothes. I think clothes are very specific and I wouldn't 
want to receive clothes for Christmas either because I just don't want to end up with having new clothes that I'm not going to be using. But when it comes to jewelry, I think that if you know someone well enough, it's a little bit easier to get jewelry. And one brand that I've discovered recently and been totally obsessed with is called Bruna the Label. This is what I'm wearing today, uh, except the rings. They're such high quality. They're all handcrafted. It's all ethically made with, in a small family business. Um, it's a brand that was founded in Austria. It's all sustainable. The extraction of raw materials like gold and silver have a really big impact on the environment. And so what they do is that most of what the silver and gold that they use is actually recycled. And also one thing they do is that they donate 1% of their annual revenue to environmental organizations. So I think it's great to look for companies who are giving back a little bit as well. All the packaging also is um, plastic free and out of recycled paper, which I'm a fan of. So I think that's awesome because when it comes to shipping and stuff, a lot of plastic can get involved. Um, but this is not the case. The pieces from Bruna are timeless, which I love because jewelry is this kind of thing we tend to accumulate as well. So I'd rather now switch to better, higher quality pieces that I really love and I'm gonna be wearing and getting a lot of use out of. And I think that you should be looking for pieces like that when offering a gift to someone as well. My next eco-friendly gift idea is um, some type of reusable water bottle or coffee mug. I've personally been using these two from Hydro Flask a ton lately, like every day, both of them. This is my water bottle, I drink all my water there and it makes me drink so much because of the straw lid and it's also leak free, which is awesome. And then this one, although I work from home and I technically wouldn't really need this because I don't go around and have to take my coffee or um, tea with me, I use this every day because when working on a computer, I often forget I've just made myself some tea and then I end up drinking my tea or coffee cold later on. So this really has helped me drink all my tea warm and uh, it's really nice. I make like a big uh, cup of tea or coffee in this in the morning and it keeps my drink warm for so long, literally so long and so warm that the first time I drank in it, I burnt my tongue. So just be careful with that, but it's really effective. It doesn't leak. Water bottles, I think a lot of people have already. So I wouldn't gift another water bottle to someone who already has some probably, but reusable coffee mugs, I loved it. Next idea is something DIY like scrunchies. I think this is such a great gift for like your friends. You could also make some reusable uh, cotton rounds. So if you have some cotton at home that you're not using like from a t-shirt or I don't know, some piece of fabric, uh, you could make some really nice cotton rounds. You could also use some old towel that you have. So yeah, that's a really cool idea as well. Another DIY is a jewelry box. I made this myself. So I had this like white simple box and then it was completely empty and I created this velvety layered things so I could put all my rings and some earrings in it as well. I will link the tutorial down below. I found it on some random video on YouTube and it was so easy to make but I think it was so nice and you could go out and like go get some really nice uh, velvet or some nice fabric material uh, from a thrift store. I've been able to organize my jewelry so much better since I made this thing and I think um, this is a very cute gift idea. DIY things are great if you're on a budget and you want to do something eco-friendly and um, gift something that's going to be useful to the people. Another thing that I love gifting for Christmas and this can be a little bit more expensive but it doesn't have to be is an experience or special activity. So it can involve yourself in it or not, it doesn't matter, but it could be some concert tickets, it could be a day at the spa, a massage, like maybe some skydiving. And that's a great option instead of offering some material goods to someone. Another gift idea, which I did last year and I think also a couple years before, um, I know at Christmas a lot of people offer and gift Christmas cookies. Um, and since in my family everyone makes and gives Christmas cookies, I know everyone receives a lot of Christmas cookies and I don't want to 
add more to this. So what I did last year is make some homemade granola and I put them in some really nice little jars and offered them. And it was a really cute gift and everyone loved it and they had it for breakfast for a couple weeks. You could even include the recipe for it if they'd like to recreate it once the jar is finished. Uh, but I think it's really a nice gift and a little bit different than just Christmas cookies that everybody makes. Um, you could make some homemade jam. I think one thing that is also nice is some energy balls or bliss balls. And then another idea, which is something that I received when I left Berlin, my friend Lena um, offered me this uh, homemade tea that she'd made with herbs and berries and fruit from her garden and she dried everything and uh, she put it in a jar and I've been drinking this tea for the last six months or so and it's delicious and every time I drink it I think of her and I think it's very sweet and um, so if you have any tea lovers in your family or friends this is also a very very nice authentic and genuine gift to offer. Another thing you can offer someone, um, whether it's a girl or a boy, I'm giving two alternatives, is homemade DIY cosmetics. So if you want to make some like hair oil for your girlfriends or some beard oil for your boyfriends. Uh, for example, I made this beard oil for David last year uh, from a original like recipe of a beard oil that he really loved. And I decided to create my own, so I got all the um, oils and essential oils and all the ingredients basically that were in it and I mixed it up and made it myself. He really loved it and he's been using it a lot. So this is a great idea if you have a boyfriend or dad or a guy friend that has a beard. Um, this is really cool. Um, I don't have a particular recipe for this. I kind of like winged it but there are tons of recipes online uh, where you can find uh, DIY beard oils so then it's a really up to you to add whatever scent you want to it. And then for more like girl stuff, um, if you'd like to, um, you could make some type of air oil with some jojoba oil, avocado oil, or even like some face oil, facial oil. Personally, I order all my oils and essential oils and all that, like the whole ingredients pretty much, like the simple um, ingredients and oils that are like kind of the basis to make your DIY cosmetics on Katsi Domi. I've talked about them before on Instagram and I absolutely love that website. It's awesome if you live in Europe or in Switzerland even. I've been ordering on there because it's a lot cheaper than buying where I live now here in Switzerland and they have some really high quality product. I recently ordered some rose water from them and also some jojoba oil. So these are some ideas of things that you could buy and then make your own mixture from recipes you find online. I think this is such a thoughtful and kind gift to offer someone instead of just getting a bottle of hair oil from the store. As for Katsudomi, I will link the website down below. I have a membership with them and so I get a discount on pretty much like everything that I order and it's really worth it. So I get like an annual membership and now they're having an offer. So I'll put all the links and codes down below so you can benefit from that if you want to order anything. They have some also really great zero waste alternatives. So yeah, definitely check it out. They have some great um, gift ideas for Christmas. And then um, last thing is books and journals. So I think books are a great idea if you know someone who likes reading and what type of books they like to read. Uh, one book that I really love is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero and I would like probably gift this book to any of my girlfriends. Um, I think it's such a great book for self-confidence and just like believing in yourself and your power. This can be read by a man as well, but um, yeah, I really loved it. So I think this is also really just because I loved it, I would love to give it to someone. But if you don't know what they like to read, but for example, they really love to cook, you could offer them a cookbook. And this was actually a cookbook that uh, David received last year for Christmas. And we didn't use it at all. Like I looked through it and I was like, oh my God, this is so nice, blah, blah, blah. And then it just ended up like being in his room and we never really used it. And then we moved to this apartment and I decided to put it in the kitchen, very visible. And I started looking through it and I started making so many recipes out of it. And I think a recipe book is such a great idea, but just know what they like to eat and kind of like what they want to cook and what's their lifestyle like. Like don't 
offer them a recipe book with super complicated recipes if they have a very like stressful lifestyle where they don't really have a lot of time to cook so but I think there are so many great recipe books that you can find this one I personally really liked also because in the end it has kind of like all the ingredients list so you can look through what's left in your fridge and like say okay I have coconut milk and carrots and then you can find all the recipes that include carrots and then all the recipes that include coconut milk for example you can find ideas with what you could cook out of what's left in your fridge and I think this is awesome so that's a great idea as well and then the last thing if you don't want to offer a book um, could be a journal or a planner I personally love these uh, notebooks from Dingbats they are a hundred percent vegan they're they have this like very nice cover which looks like leather but isn't leather um, and it's having a, like a lot of really nice initiatives protecting wildlife so this is why they also have like some really cute um, animals in the front this one is a blank notebook that I get for um, just like journaling regular journaling um, but I just also ordered a new bullet journal for my bullet journal and planner for next year so I think this is really cute gift and they will always end up using it at some point personally I've used all my notebooks that I've received so so that's it for today's video I really hope this was interesting and gave you some ideas and hopefully made your life a little bit easier at this time of the year. If you have any other ideas that I didn't mention, let me know them in the comments. I would love to get more ideas for my own gifts as well that I have to give to other people. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Uh -huh.